Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error on your Xbox console. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform a power cycle, now press and hold the power button on your Xbox console to turn it off. So keep holding it till it's off. Now you can see it's off. Now once the Xbox console is off, now unplug the power cable from the Xbox console. So unplug the power cable. Now once it's unplugged, now wait for 10 to 15 seconds. Now after 10 to 15 seconds, now plug in the power cable back to the Xbox console. Now once you plug in the power cable, now turn on the Xbox console. And now check. Next step is to select port manually. So go to the home screen, press the home button on the controller and on the top go to your profile. Now once you select your profile, go to settings and then go to general. Now under general, go to network settings and then scroll down and select advanced settings now once in advanced settings go to alternate port selection now over here select manual and over here you have to select port which starts with either 4 or 5 so this is just an example in my case it's 49405 so the number may differ so you have to start the port which starts with 4 or either 5 so you can try both 4 you can try 4 and check still you are facing the problem then you can select 5 like any port which starts with 5 so for now I will select 4 and then continue and then go to the home screen and then you have to restart your console so now select your profile and then go to power and then you can restart console select restart console and then check now the next step is to clear Mac address on your Xbox console. Now press the home button on your controller and then go to profile and then go to settings. Go to settings and then go to general and then select network settings. And then over here go to advanced settings now select alternate mac address and then select clear and then you have to restart your console so your console must, must restart to apply this change so hit restart and then check now the next step is to try google dns server now go to settings on the top and then go to general and then go to network settings and then scroll down go to advanced settings and then over here you can see dns settings go to dns settings and then go to manual now over here type in number eight for primary dns number eight and then go to the second box and then again type in eight over here And again go to the third box and then again type in number 8 and go to the fourth box and then again type in number 8 and then over here go to arrow and then again type in for secondary DNS type in 8 then again in the second box 8 and in the third box type in number 4 so I will remove this 8 and then I will type in number 4 now again go to the fourth box and then again type in number 4 so it's 8844 and again go to the arrow over here uh, restart your Xbox console and then check. Now the next step is to uncheck QoS tagging in your Xbox console. 
Now go to settings on the top and then go to general and then go to network settings and then scroll down, go to advanced settings. Now over here, scroll down at the bottom here, you can see QOS tagging settings. Select this option. Now if DSCP tagging and WMM tagging is checked, if these two are checked over here, you can uncheck these boxes. Uncheck these boxes and then restart your console and then check. Now the next step is to switch to different networks. So on your Xbox console, if you have any other available network, you can switch to different network and then check. You can also use your phone network. So you can turn on the data on your phone and then you can turn on the mobile hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network on your Xbox console and then you can check. Now the next step is to try Ethernet connection. So connect your Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on your Xbox console. Now once you are connected to the Ethernet, now you can check. Now the last step is to perform factory reset and you have to select an option which says keep my games and apps in this case, you will not lose any data on your Xbox console. So you can perform factory reset and then check. To perform a factory reset of your Xbox console, go to the home screen and then go to settings. And then go to system. And then select console info. Now over here, you will see a reset console option. So go to reset console. Now over here on the bottom, over here you can see options, reset and remove everything, reset and keep my games and apps. So select the option which says reset and keep my games and apps and proceed with the reset. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.